I think we started track in middle school. Like it was just after school, hanging out with friends. Once we found out um, we had some success in it, then we thought, go with it. First time I talked to the coaches from the University of Minnesota, uh, it was probably around my junior year in high school. The conversations that we had at first were, were that they were very excited. Um, they were very excited about this program, and which got me excited. And I had gone out and visited schools out east. I've been on official visits, and I, I enjoyed the schools. They were great schools, but it wasn't home. My friends play here, and she told us a lot of good things about Minnesota, about the city, about the school, and golf. It took about six months for me to decide where I wanted to go, and I visited twice here, and then finally I decided that Minnesota was the best place for me. When I heard from them, and I knew what I wanted to do, and I was looking at the school, and I everything was lining up right. I was just excited. You know, I wanted to be part of the history of the Gophers. Uh, it was always one of my choices, but I never really thought that I would ever have the opportunity to come here. When I got the call and Mike offering me the chance to come here, we were all really excited. I remember my dad was on the phone. He started screaming uh, when I told him. I remember exactly where I was. I was sitting at my high school at the football field. I think my parents knew we were going to the U of M since we visited the U of M, <laughs> but they just didn't want to say it. The first thing I did is um, I called my dad. My parents were probably the first ones that I told, and we were so excited that I got to stay in Minnesota. I was really freaked out for orientation, like me and your roommate and stuff. Because we had seen like the sports side, but I'd never seen like the classrooms or the dorms. In Thailand, you can play golf all year long because it's super warm. But here is like, it's, it's a little bit different. The first time that I met with the team to work out was, was great. They welcomed me and it felt like I was part of the family right away. My first game, he came up to me and told me that I was starting and I was just got really nervous and excited. It was just kind of a surreal feeling to think that I'm actually here now. I just remember, you know, how excited I was and how happy I was to be in that position. You know, I was just looking around at all my teammates and friends and know I was like truly a part of the team now and I belonged here. I really want to work with kids. Um, back home, I want to open um, a rec center or a program dealing with, with youth. I know I can go into a lot of different things and the experience here has prepared me for that because it's taught me a lot of self-discipline and how to work hard for what I want. Being able to play here at the University of Minnesota, being able to represent so many amazing people is a feeling like none other and a privilege like none other and I'm so grateful for it. I would like to thank the donors for your support and all your contributions to the University of Minnesota. You're the reason why this experience is, you know, has been such a great experience for me. What, what I'm able to do, the experiences that I'm having aren't possible at all without, without what the donors do. I feel very thankful for everything and this opportunity is being an honor to be a student athlete and play golf here at the U of M. So I'm so thankful to all the donors out there who have provided scholarships for people like me to be able to pursue my dream of playing go for football but also be able to attend this excellent, incredible academic institution.